Hi, my name is Ian with PA Industries, and today we're going to talk about sink faults, their contributing factors, and how to fix them. In our sink fault part one video, we went over what causes a sink fault, but now let's look into the contributing factors and how to prevent it. The feed window is important when dealing with sink faults, but it is also affected by the feed length, the strokes per minute the press is operating at, the acceleration and deceleration, and in some cases, the speed of the feeder. The feed length is the controlling factor here. It is specific to the operation and cannot be changed. And the operating speed of the press can be reduced to help prevent sink faults, but it is not ideal because doing so would slow production. That leaves the feed window, the acceleration and deceleration, and the speed of the feeder. One obvious solution would be to increase the feed window. If the feed window is longer, the feeder has more time to complete a move. If your feed window is already as large as the operation permits, then you can try increasing the acceleration and deceleration. Increasing these values can speed up how long a move takes to complete, thus making it easier to complete the move within the feed window, preventing a sink fault. To access the acceleration and deceleration, start by touching the library icon from the main screen, which opens up a list of your programs. From this next screen, select the program for your current operation and touch the pencil and paper icon to edit. On the screen, you will either see the acceleration or the deceleration. Touch the number corresponding to the acceleration or deceleration and enter in your new value. We recommend increasing these values in small increments for the best operation, the acceleration and deceleration should be no higher than they need to be. To toggle between the acceleration and deceleration, touch the squiggly character located right before. Be sure to keep the acceleration and deceleration at the same value. Once you are done, be sure to hit the save button. And once the program is saved, you also need to activate it by touching the check mark. Another thing you can try doing is increasing the speed parameter, although this only makes a difference on operations with larger feed lengths. Small feed lengths never actually make it to the maximum speed, and thus the entire move is acceleration and deceleration. We will access the speed in the same location as the acceleration and deceleration. Once again, increases should be done in small increments, and don't forget to save and activate the program. To better see what acceleration, deceleration, and speed values will work for your application, use the speed chart found on our website. The link will be in the description below. If none of this has worked, the answer could be noise in the feed signal. If there is noise at the beginning of the feed signal, the control could mistake a feed signal turning on and off and register as a sink fault. This can be fixed with the debounce parameter. Debounce tells the control to ignore the feed signal for a set amount of time in order to avoid the issue caused by noise at the beginning of the signal. Debounce should not be set too high either though, or the feed signal could be ignored for too long, which could actually cause a sink fault. For the best results, debounce is typically set to around 10 milliseconds. To get to the debounce setting, touch the lock button on the main screen. On the next screen, touch the gears button to access the feeder parameters. From here, change the debounce parameter the same way you would change the acceleration and deceleration. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, you can check out our Sync Faults Part 1 video. The link will be in the description below. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can call the number on screen here. Thank you and goodbye.